Hi guys, it's Marcella here. I need to give you guys a little bit of heads up. I had a problem with my recording of this episode, Jessica Jones season three, episode three. I went to do the editing right now and I saw that during the episode, my microphone died, record everything together. My headphones, the setting for the computer to the headphones, it died at the end of the episode. So it, it didn't work anymore like at all. So I had to, to start using a cable to make it work in the following episodes. But on this one, I had, you guys don't know this, but before I start recording, I always try out watching something that I watch all by myself on my free time. I record the, a little bit of that part to check if the voice and the episode if everything is working so I can record the episode for the reactions but what happened was that this problem happened during the episode so there was no way for me to catch that it muted my my voice at least I believe there was something like that that happened instead of or of the microphone dying because the microphone worked for the other episodes that I recorded normally but since this happened, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my reaction without the volume that happened after that point that stopped working. I'm going to put the reaction here, but mostly it's just going to be me like watching the episode and, and like I'm going to post the reaction like I would normally post it, but I'm going to put my post thoughts that... I'm going to record that right now, like that I'm going to try to remember what I said earlier. I'm going to post them on the end of this episode. So you guys can have a little bit of an idea of what I thought. And it sucked because it was an episode that I really, really liked. But anyway, let me just come back here to check it out what I saw. And this is going to be on the post episode. So I hope you guys still enjoy it. And... I'm so sorry. His name. Brand? His full name. Andrew Brandt. Thanks. I felt so bad for Trish there. She was all excited. One day you're a scrawny kid getting D's in PE. The next day you can toss a minivan. Eventually, it's just a part of who you are. If she doesn't like being weak. The part that no one can take away. Ouch. I feel bad for her. After a splenectomy, normal life can resume, provided one takes precaution against an increased risk of deadly infections. Oh, I'm still alive, so discharge me. You may be special, but you're not completely invulnerable. I have to be. That's the job. Aww. There's somebody I have to find. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're a small whoa, 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 whoa. Aww. Get your ass back to bed. You know I can't face the E-train until you make me come. <laughs> oh, my. Gotta go. Uh-huh. Someone injured this beautiful specimen of a man. He must have put mine. I come for you. I love you too. And you gotta get your ass to the office. <sighs> e train is waiting. I thought he he had E turn of bleeding. You're gonna so make him funny. do that? So I'm betting you have a guess as to who did this. I need one too. What have you got? I was sharing. The knife? No. <laughs> So nothing. Which is why I had your assistant pull up your client list. Look, Jones, I respect you, mostly. I, your better qualities deserve to be respected. What is that, some kind of flattery? <laughs> Look, I'm not going to waste up time with this dance. You'll do what you'll do. But you're not used to being the victim. She doesn't like mm, me a victim. Under a case file does not make me a victim. Those staples in your belly do. And that guy's still out there until one of us finds him. Don't make yourself an easy target. 
That was a good advice. I know she's too stubborn to see it, but it was a really good advice. Ladies, can I bring you something to drink? Iced tea, no lemon. Ignore my friend's false virtue and bring us two glasses of dry red, Cab Franc, if you have it, and otherwise, your choice. Damn. She's like all about living life. The last time I saw you, I cried so hard my eyes were swollen for three days, and the time before that, your head was between my legs. We need all the wine. Damn. I'm glad you came. I remember us. How I used to be. Lots changed. I remember a singular talent. I remember a brilliant, baffling girl who showed me the world. You took my goddamn breath away. Damn. It was good to see you, Jerry. In brief, yet again. But you kind of deserved it for what I got in the conversation. Alarm. It'll remind you to take them starting now. One of each. You're supposed to take them with water. Sleep. Early for you. Thanks. For the ambulance. I grabbed it before the cops got here. Meaning you were illegally tampered with police evidence. Jerry's taught you all sorts of tricks. I knew you'd want to handle this yourself. I'm impressed. I've been searching the place for hours. You walk in, have a lead in 10 minutes. It's called experience. I said I was impressed. Brant was my target first. I should be the one to bring him in. Well, I was the one with a post-surgical drain in my gut, so I'm gonna have to disagree. Do you even know if Brant is your guy? Will you even ask if you find him? It's not your concern. The hell it's not. Before you screwed it up, my plan was to deliver Brant to the cops. I doubt you have the same agenda. Law school professor. Potential business associate. Is there anything I should know? Just tell me what he's hiding. I'm on it. Look, I'm afraid I don't have any chairs left for non-majors, but you should check in with me next semester. Ah, uh, well, uh, good luck to you. What are you doing here? Somebody gets stabbed in the middle of a hookup. The traditional response is to check up on her. You don't strike me as tradition. Just like that, she caught me giving the shit. Do you know who the guy was? Why he was after you? It's what I do. I wasn't aware I'd hired a new assistant. Mallory? Well, I apologize, but it won't be the last time that I use your name without your permission. Malcolm told me what happened. I want to check on you. Why, so we can be invalids together? You know, they're developing new trials all the time. There's one out of Israel that's looking good. Hmm. You've been doing some research. Me too. And I will continue to. But I want to make sure that my health status remains confidential. Thank you. Now, what makes you think that I know anything about illegal art sales? Don't you? I'll make some calls. In the meantime, my actual assistant We'll send you some names of galleries for you to survey. What's the cheapest thing you got? A pretzel. What's the cheapest thing you got that doesn't taste like salted cardboard? Hot dog, coming right up. You have something. 
something I want. Whatever. Remember when we recorded that? We were in bed. It was late. But we never really slept when we were together. You said you had something for me. So I should expect an angry husband at my door. Oh, no need. Peter and I have an open marriage. What does that mean? It means I'm screwing you. He's probably screwing some graduate student as we speak. Opened a special bottle. You let me know if it's not chill to your liking. You found it. You found Brent's contact info. I'm going after him. Jesus, are we really doing this shit again? Oh, you look like death. Just give me the sculpture. You know what's bullshit? Getting stabbed because you're caught off guard, off task, and probably drunk. Hand it over now. I've spent the past year honing my skills, evolving into the best version of myself. I'm unstoppable. And I have all my organs intact. So I've learned something recently. Something you should know. No one is unstoppable. What the hell do you want from me? What do you think I want, asshole? Did my sister hire you? If Madeline wants to control of that bag, she can keep it. I don't give a shit about the sculpture. I do give a shit that you hired someone to stab me. Stab you? Why? How? All you people have impenetrable skin. Who am I gonna hire? And no one will risk pissing off a couple of supers. But Brent's at 597. He's 23rd and he's not going anywhere. He's your win. You'll know what to do. The unis found him, gift wrapped with hard evidence against him. He kept whining about a couple of power chicks that were after him. You did good. Wasn't me. Well, I'm glad you have somebody. They're really a strength in numbers. Take care. Keep your door locked. I owe you 50 bucks. You ate the burger. Yeah. Are you? Look better. Uh, quick healer. Yeah, that asshole clearly had no idea what he was up against. He brought a knife to a gunfight. There is one thing I would like to know. Shoot. Tell me why someone wants to kill you. Um. It was episode three. I've watched episode four, guys. Already, you're gonna see that later, because I I recorded after this one. But let me just go back a little bit here and see what I what happened. To see if I remember. Oh, I remember that I talked about how Jessica didn't like being being in the position of being a victim. It was something that she felt very strongly against. And she really wanted to catch the bad guy so she wouldn't feel like a victim. I talked about how much I like these people together. And 
Also, I like the the this detective. He's pretty cool. I talked about over here, like I okay, how I an hour ouch. Sorry, I talked how I like this woman. I forgot her name right now, and how I was afraid of what what Jerry was doing because I feel like if if she finds out that Jerry is searching for dirt on her husband, I feel like she's gonna be really upset and be like, you're not the person that I thought you were. So this is what I thought until like this episode. Here yeah, I kind of left a little bit with their interaction between Jessica and Malcolm. Oh, this part is funny. I remember that I was talking about how Jessica when she does those voices, it reminds me of Gossip Girl. Not Gossip Girl, Jesus. The voice that she does from Gilmore Girls. I remember she was on Gilmore Girls and that very high-pitched voice that sometimes she used to be like, Hi, it's the secretary of something. That I, I believe she used to do that voice on, on Gilmore Girls. Also... Also, I was surprised about the hookup, but this scene was very beautiful. And after she said that her marriage was open, I understood better that was like why she slept with, with Jerry, even though she said that Jerry broke her heart like 25 years ago, why she decided to go to that step. Because I wasn't expecting them to be together. I felt bad when Jess fell, but I liked the fact that Trish would there so she could help and also it was so funny that scene from the mustard where where Jess was buying a hot dog and she saw Trish from across the room with the reflection that was really funny I also I forgot Jess could jump and oh I remember I didn't like the fast the fact that jo Jess hit Trish even though I understood like a little bit of of her point that she was trying to prove a point that you never um invisible but I didn't really like that she hit her and but at the same time what I did like was the fact that after she found out that the Andrew guy wasn't the one that was after her she called Trish to give her the the win and at the end of the episode, you guys probably gonna, gonna have seen my face, very shocked face. But what happened was that I thought for a second that Eric was the killer. I was trying to understand how he could have been the killer if he was inside. And I thought maybe he had hired someone to kill Jess. And while he was there, like, distracting her or something. So I was like, wait, is he a bad guy? I was, like, very much afraid that he was a bad guy. Thanks for the tip. Shit. I keep doing that, hitting the, the mic. But that was it. That was my reaction. That was what I thought about the episode. What I rem At least what I remember saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so sorry for the problems that I had. But I hope you guys will appreciate it. And I'm planning on doing more Jessica Jones. I'm just hoping to finish Vikings so I can focus more on Jessica Jones and then the, pre the next shows that I'm going to watch. So hope you guys enjoy it. I'm so sorry for other problems. It sucks. Not just for you guys. It really sucks for me because I get so excited to record. And then I'm so excited to do the editing because I'm like, you guys going to enjoy this episode. It was great. And then I see that there was a problem in the episode and I'm like, I barely even want to edit anymore because I'm like, what face am I going to do to say to the people that this problem happened? But in the beginning, it's like that. Like sometimes we have a lot of problems to get things working and then we go fixing them. So thank you for all your support, for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.